In this video, I want to give you guys a bunch of updates on various PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games. A great upgrade is coming in Remnant from the Ashes. An iconic game in Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance is coming to the PS4. Free-to-play Division game has been announced. Observer System Redo is coming to PlayStation 4 Xbox One on July 16th. Remember, that's been out on PlayStation 5. Death Crown for PS4 is launching May 13th. And then Art of Rally is coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation uh, 5 as well, uh, though. The latter two games are formerly on PC. They've been received really well. We'll talk those games at the end of this video. But off the top, Remnant from the Ashes getting a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series optimization update, and that is dropping May 13. I guess I wouldn't say that this is a full-on upgrade, but you can choose between 4K resolution at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second, and this will be a free update for anyone. Don't worry, you don't have to buy it or anything like that. Remnant from the Ashes is a great game, but it's also a game that would be ideal playing at 60 frames per second so this update is going to be quite nice whenever i get the option these days to go 4k 30 or 1080 60 i'm going 1080 60 because i just feel like 60 frames per second in 2021 is absolutely mandatory and i'm happy that yes while there are people that appreciate 30 frames per second and can enjoy games at that i'm happy that the majority of studios are giving you the option and they're like not locking you into 4k 30 because that would be absolutely whack have that as an option but when ratchet and clank comes and if i believe it's a 1080 30 or a 1080 60 option or 4k uh you know 30 i'm going 1080 60 all day long it might be a variable resolution i forget off the top of my head but you guys get the idea Demon Souls played that at 60 frames per second, and it was fantastic. That's just the route that I am personally going to go, and it's cool to see that a game that's just getting a free update is also giving you that option. Maybe some people will cry about why isn't it 4K60, but hey, it's a free optimization update for a game that's been out for a little bit. Good on them for doing it. Anyway, that's coming from developer Gunfire Games. Okay, next up, this is going to get people excited. One of the most iconic RPGs of all time in Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance is coming to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch on May 7th, and then PC and Mobile in 2021. This version will feature enhanced graphics and up to 4K resolution on supported platforms, as well as local cooperative play. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance first launched for PlayStation 2 in December 01, and I remember picking up Baldur's Gate back on the PS2. I remember the hype was absolutely crazy for the game, um, and people were like talking it up like crazy. Back then, it wasn't really my cup of tea, but I played it more recently, and I did dig it up. When I say more recently, like five or six years ago, and it was a game that I could appreciate, but this update is going to be quite nice. It's coming at a budget price point of $29.99, so that's always nice. I like to see these re-releases be priced accordingly. Maybe you can make the argument that it should have been $19.99 or even $14.99, but I don't think $30 is too egregious of a price point, given that they are featuring some updates as well. And by the way, um, it is 4K scaling on the Xbox One or uh, Xbox One X or PlayStation 4 Pro, so if you're playing on PlayStation 5, you'll be good to go. PlayStation 4 Pro as well. So that's quite nice. Local cooperative support is also nice and fully voice acted by an all-star cast. You've got four difficulty levels to choose from, easy, normal, hard, and extreme. And again, this one is due out on May 7th, so this is coming tomorrow. Next up, here's something we don't know much about at this point, but it is kind of exciting. Publisher Ubisoft and developer Red Storm Entertainment have announced the Division Heartland, a standalone free-to-play game in a new setting within the Division universe. It'll launch for consoles, PC, and the cloud in 2021 or 2022, sometime in that window. Specific consoles were not announced. You would have to think PS4, PS5, X1, uh, X series and maybe Nintendo Switch. We'll have to see how that turns out. You can apply to test out the game in the test phases, and you can apply on PC, X1, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series, so you can try that out. I'll leave a link for that in the description box below if you are interested, but like I said, we don't have much information on that. On top of that, they noted more content is also on the way to The Division 2, led by Massive Entertainment with support from Ubisoft. This will include an entirely new game mode for The Division franchise and new methods for leveling up your characters as well, and then a Division film is also in development with Netflix. It seems like every video game these days is getting some sort of media adaptation in terms of television series or movie. Hopefully, uh, things will turn out better than something like, um, you know, Ratchet and Clank movie or something like that. I know that is kind of a hit or miss thing with the majority of people. All right, moving on from that. Observer System Redux is coming to the PS4, Xbox One on July 16th. Along with that, a physical copy of the game will be released on all platforms. Now, this came out on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series late last year, I believe on launch day. 
And Observer was already a pretty good game, but definitely this version upgrades the game quite a bit. It's the definitive version of the cyberpunk thriller rebuilt and augmented for the next generation. The year is 2084. The future has turned out much darker than anyone could imagine. It's a pretty dark game, very psychological. And with the physical edition, if you are going to opt to pick that up, that'll have the game soft cover, art book, and an official soundtrack for $29.99. So pricing wise, that's actually really good. Like maybe you might be of the mindset, hey, this came out a while back, I'll wait on a sale. But the day one edition is the one that comes with the art book as well as the soundtrack. So keep that in mind. Okay, just to circle around a couple other things, Death Crown for PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch is coming May 13th. This was a game that released on Steam back in, I want to say, 2019. Yeah, August of 2019. Very positive reception on this one. It is a strategy game, so maybe not up the alley of all console players, but it's a minimalist real-time strategy game in a one-bit style where you will be playing Death herself, commanding her legions of death, and punishing humanity's kingdom for its overconfidence. Very cool look to it. Again, very simplistic minimalistic as they said look it did release at 9.99 on pc so i imagine same price point on consoles but that's a very appealing price point maybe not a game that again everybody's gonna pick up on launch day but definitely i could see this being one of those sleeper games that's like a buck 99 during a psn sale or something like that that people end up kind of enjoying so that will be dropping may the 13th and lastly art of rally is coming to ps5 and ps4 now this is a game that released on steam back in uh 2020 i believe in august no, September of 2020, and it got a really strong reception on PC from the people that played it. Overwhelmingly positive reviews, 2,190 reviews, and 95% of those reviews were positive. Kind of has a cool look going on for it, obviously, a racing game. It notes, race in the golden era of rally drive iconic cars from the 60s to Group B on challenging stages through stylized environments inspired by real-world locations. Will you master the art of rally? God is a geek, gave it a 9.0. And it notes having 60 stages from Finland to Norway, Japan, and Germany, so a lot of locations. 50-plus iconic rally cars, authentic handling, race to the top in the leaderboards. You've got a photo mode in there as well, and again, the game's got a good look to it, so maybe the photo mode is going to be something appealing to you. Was $25 on PC. Again, imagine the same price point over on consoles. But that's going to wrap up this one. Again, Remnant from the Ashes, that's going to be a nice update to get, and I believe, was that a PS Plus game recently? Honestly, guys, I forgot a little bit. I'm pretty sure it was, so that's going to be a nice update. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance drops tomorrow. That's going to be sick. Uh, Free-to-play Division game is coming. Observer System Redux is getting a physical copy as well as a PS4 version. Death Crown and Art of Rally are two former PC titles that are making the transition to consoles. That's going to wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.